All right, the uh, first thing to talk about, uh, so from last week, I'm going to work on those the coil sequence. <laughs> still uh, going to be practiced this week and tracked like you're doing everything. Uh, what else did I write down here? Okay, that's the main thing. Uh, so this exercise, the first one written for this week to help you with the change in the strings. So it sounds like this. <laughs> So yeah, it doesn't really matter what you're doing. Just take some power chords and just try and do it as fast as you can. And just do that until your heart and it wears out on you. And then do some, uh, you know, do some rounds of that or sets of that. And the other thing written was to continue with just getting used to the alternate picking for a while, you know, like an endurance thing, and they just have that tiny little, one little spot where you have the string change. So, sounds like this. talked about hopefully you noticed during this video I'm really sticking with that thumb picking idea so the idea is you're basically kind of like curling your thumb in and then pushing it back out the index finger really isn't doing too much it's mostly just coming along for the ride I can feel it moving a little bit on purpose like it's trying to help push the pick in a certain direction but uh, that's the other thing. Just, if you just sit there and work on that and watch that motion, you want to keep try not to have your wrist moving. Focus more on the thumb because we got to get you to play nice and loose. And I always think, even when I'm playing like this, I can tell my thumb is moving a little bit. It's just very, very subtle. I mean, eventually, when you start going like super, super fast, then the, the thumb's going to stop, and then you got the arm taken over. And then the other thing is I'm pivoting on my wrist. I don't really say my um, on my wrist. I mean, it's kind of like on the wrist and on the palm right here. So maybe try that, because it also looks like you're... That's another thing. I think I just realized that. Are you floating your arm when you're picking? Are you, are you having like that? If that's the case, put your hand on the guitar. So this way you have kind of an anchor point. Uh, try that. If you're not already resting your palm on the guitar like that, try it and see if that helps you have more control because I can definitely see if you're trying to do this with your arm not on the guitar that feels really weird to me I'm sure you can kind of get used to it but try that anchor your hand on the guitar put your palm on the guitar just like you're gonna be doing palm beats but even when I'm like doing like the like even over here when I'm playing really fast stuff which is not a proper you know palm mute area but I'm, you know, it's good for meeting the strings. I always have my hand resting on the guitar a bit, and I wonder if that's that could be something to help you out there. So think about that too when you're practicing, like your the, the speed picking the crap out of them chords. Have your hand resting on the guitar, so this way you're you're kind of I'm pushing into the guitar a little bit, not hard, just enough so I can feel it on the guitar. And it's using that as like as my, as my pivot, as my anchor point pivot. So, yeah, that I think that might help. Definitely let me know if it does. All right, let me know if you have any questions, and I think that covers it all.
All right. See you again Wednesday.